good morning children in the last class we had done with the first poem that is about the rainbow do you all remember now in today's class i am going to start with the second chapter that is the scholar's mother tongue who, who is a scholar children scholar means gnani gnani means the person who knows everything means he will be knowing about arts about dance about education everything whatever he knows he will be knowing everything such type of person is called scholar nipuna means he will be knowing everything so this lesson is about finding out the scholar's mother tongue okay before going into the lesson can you see here they have given a preparatory activity few puzzles they have given what is the longest word in the english language what starts with p and ends with e and has many of letters okay so all these eight questions you have to answer find out or oh, and answer these questions okay children now look at the activity 2 okay now this lesson deals with the king and his minister okay so before that they have given to tell about the akbar and birbal see here one day akbar drew a line with his royal hand on the floor of the open court and commanded make this line shorter but don't by any means erase any part of it means one day what happened akbar drew a line on the floor in the open court so he commanded anybody can make this line shorter but what they have to do they they cannot erase the part of the line they should not touch the line but what they have to do they, they should make the line shorter okay so how they will do everyone was stumped by this puzzle when it was birbal stun he at once what did birbal do let us see what he did okay when it was birbal stun he at once drew a longer line next to the first one without touching the first line what he did he did not touch the first line but we should make it short isn't it so that what he did he drew a line next to the line which will be longer than the first line so the first line became shorter isn't it everyone in the court saw it and said that's true the first line is shorter so this is how birbal used to prove his knowledge okay he was very very intelligent he was very brilliant isn't it this is how he used to prove now in the same way he is going to solve some problem which occurred one day in the akbar's court okay children now see here a learned scholar means pandit once visits the court of akbar okay a pandit a scholar i told you right a gnani he came to the akbar court one day he says he is telling something now see i have mastery over different languages mastery means he has studied so many languages and he is well versed in all those languages okay so akbar is telling hmm now what happens and the pandit continues i can speak many languages fluently what the pandit is telling he can also speak many languages fluently fluently means very well he can speak many languages <coughs> others are telling ho oh, sounds good because few people will be knowing uh, knowing two or three languages that's it. that's all isn't it but this pandit knows many many languages 10 to 12 languages that is also fluently the pandit makes a challenge to the court what he did he is challenging the court is there anybody present here who can find out what my mother tongue is so see first of all i want to tell you if we are uh, if we have some mother tongue for example if we are kannadigas okay we cannot speak other languages very fluently isn't it we will make few mistakes but what the scholar is telling he without making any mistake he will Uh, he can speak many languages so for such type of person we cannot find out his mother tongue isn't it so that is why this person is challenging the whole court 
even akbar including the king he is challenging the people should find out his mother tongue okay so next what happens let us see the courtiers discussed among the, themselves the courtiers can you see here the ministers are all sitting here they are discussing ab among themselves maybe kannada urdu tamil mm, they are all discussing which uh, what the pandits mother tongue could be okay but they fail in their attempt to find out the pandits mother tongue so how they will find out children they don't know his mother tongue but he can speak so many languages that is why what happened the ministers were all failed they did not find out his mother tongue so birbal was ashamed in front of the pandit oh no and so you all accept defeat see the pandit very proudly he is telling they have accepted everybody have accepted the de defeat defeat means what solo okay everybody have accepted oh no he was very proud about his knowledge now what happens just then birbal speaks what happened now birbal came to speak well pandit i shall find out what your mother tongue is in a day or so so birbal is telling pandit i can find out your your mother tongue in a day in one day or so okay now the pandit is telling glad to hear that birbal take your own time even now the pandit is very very proud he is telling glad to hear birbal glad means i am happy to know that you you can find out my mother tongue take your own time he is telling you can take your own time that night birbal sneaks into the pandit's bedroom what this birbal is going to do he sneaks into the pandit's bedroom means he went without telling anybody he entered the pandit's bedroom and finds him fast asleep the pandit was sleeping nicely he whispers into the pandit's ears he is whispering something means gusu gusu he is doing some whispering noise in pandit's ear then he tickles his ear with a feather can you see here he is tickling his here ears with a feather now what happened let us see after tickling the pandit in his sleep shouts words in his mother tongue the pandit is shouting in his mother tongue yavaradi can you see here he told yavaradi oh well that's it pandit find out birbal finds out the pandit's mother tongue now the next day in the court your majesty pandit's mother tongue is telugu birbal is telling pandit's mother tongue is telugu hmm yes the pandit agreed so then everybody will be having a doubt isn't it how did he find out the mother tongue king akbar is astonished astonished means he was very much surprised well done birbal but how did you find it out now akbar is asking his doubt now birbal answers your majesty in times of difficulty a person speaks his mother tongue okay in times of difficulty in how many languages maybe we, we will be fluently speaking but we will first prefer our mother tongue isn't it in the same way pandit also unknowingly he uttered in his mother tongue while he was sleeping birbal then narrates the entire incident that took place in pandit's bedroom the previous night now birbal is telling how he found out his mother tongue clever birbal you have indeed proved your wit again wit means brilliance intelligence okay again akbar is praising him he is telling that he is very great minister thank you your majesty okay now birbal is tell, telling thanks to his king the courtiers praise birbal's wit and pandit leaves the king's court in dismay means he is leaving the court in sadness means he is agreeing his defeat hurray everybody are praising here birbal i accept defeat my lord indeed birbal is cleverer than me what the pandit had taught he is very very intelligent person there is nobody in this world who could defeat him but who defeated the pandit birbal so did you understand children how intelligent birbal was yes that is why the stories of akbar and birbal are very very famous even now 
okay it happened these incidents are all considered as real incidents because uh, in the same way there was one more minister in krishna devaraya's court his name is tenali ramakrishna he was also very very intelligent so these two ministers of india are very very famous all over the world so you can also read many more stories related to akbar and birbal and also tenali ramakrishna students okay now after watching this video i am going to give you a few questions you have to answer them okay children thank you